Hello and welcome, Cancer. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Cancer, let me adjust this lighting a little bit. Um, this is a new weekly reading, and this is all about when are you ever going to find the one? Will you ever find the one? Uh, this could be, you know, will you find your person, your soulmate, that person that just belongs to you, your other half. So when are you going to find this person, or will you ever? So that's what we are looking into today. All right, Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate with your situation. That's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right. Okay, none of those flipped, so I'm not going to take them. Okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Okay, so Cancer, I do feel like you want to take things to the next level, but it, it kind of feels like you're on the fence about it. Um, or you're not necessarily on the fence, wrong choice of words there. Um, you're taking your time with it, or you need some time with it. I keep getting, as soon as I put down the Six of Wands, I kept getting lucky in love. So I do feel like you are getting ready to meet someone or you have met someone that is going to be pretty important to you here, Cancer. Um, again, I feel like you're needing to take your time um, or something is, you know, I keep getting something about timing, like not rushing, but just kind of, you know, again, pacing yourself, taking your time. With the Page of Wands, there could be a little bit of an age difference between the two of you. Um... But I do feel like this person kind of awakens something within you. It kind of feels like maybe you've been feeling a little bit stuck here, Cancer. Um, like just kind of, you know, again, like that feeling that's just kind of stuck in the mud. Like, I don't know what to do next. Like, is anything going to change? Like, you know, I just, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, what's, I keep getting for, and, and I totally get this. You know, 2020 was a very rough year for a lot of people. Um, so it's kind of like that, not necessarily depression, but it's just that, you know, like stuck, like I don't know how to get out of this energy type of feeling. Um, so I do feel like this person kind of helps you out in a way, but again, I feel like there's still a sense of, I need to take my time with this. Um, with the Queen of Cups, though, I am getting that this could be, um, I want to say a water sign, and I haven't called out any signs for any of the other readings, but for this one, I keep getting water sign. Um, but I do feel there's feelings on both sides here. I do feel like there's an awakening of emotions. Um, you know, again, it is all about taking your time, not really rushing into anything, but I do feel like this is really going to go to the next level. Um, this is going to be, you know, a commitment, like kind of from the start, even though it's may not verbally be said or spoken just yet. It's like, I'm vibing with you. You're vibing with me. You know, this feels good. Let's just, let's see how this goes. And I just feel like it's, um, kind of committed, like right off the bat, even though, like I said, it may not just, you know, be said right away. I just feel like this person's really into you, Cancer. Okay. All right. So we have a Hierophant again. Um, <laughs> and I do feel like there is a sense of like, some kind of confusion coming out of a really tough cycle is what I keep getting. Um, and by that, you know, we have the Nine of Inspiration, we have the Moon card, and we have the Hierophant card. So I do feel, especially with this Nine of Inspiration, and like I said, the Moon card here, um, this is coming out of a pretty tough cycle. Um, you know, the Nine of Inspiration or the Nine of Wands is all about that, you know, trials and tribulations, that, you know, Wounded Warrior card of... Like, I've been through some stuff, but, you know, I'm still here. I'm still standing. Like, I'm not giving up, but I just need to take a break for a minute. Um, sometimes, you know, this person has walls built up. You know, sometimes it's like this person is not ready to fully, you know, commit to anything or really open up to anybody just yet. And I do feel like that's kind of what's going on in this situation, whether it's you or your person. I do feel like somebody kind of has their walls up. But I do feel like this person is open. Um, you know, open to expressing how they're feeling towards you, <clears throat> open towards giving this a try, open towards giving you a chance. Okay. 
I kind of feel like somebody has been holding feelings back as well because it's almost like for some of you, you might know this person. Um, so for some of you, you've already met this person. For others of you, this person isn't quite here yet. But it may be someone you know or kind of has seen you around, something along those lines. Because it kind of feels like somebody's really crushing on somebody, but they haven't said anything yet. All right, so <clears throat> clarifying that hanged man, we have the magician. We have the hermit and we have the seven of materials. So yeah, again, just kind of biding your time, kind of patiently, you know, waiting. Um, again, I keep getting like, you just want to kind of take your time. You're not rushing into anything. You're not trying to push or force anything. You're just kind of going with the flow, you know, just kind of vibing, doing your own thing. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like, you know, you've just kind of taken a step back from like the dating game. Uh, this could be, you know, just trying to heal, just trying to get some other things in order. Um, but I do feel like, you know, again, you're starting to kind of open up to the idea of a relationship, of a partnership, you know, companionship. I do feel like for a lot of you, too, you've also been kind of manifesting this. Okay. I keep getting like trying something new or... Um, Yeah, because it feels like, again, you know, taking your time, but then it feels like, okay, I'm ready to go ahead and give this a try. So it could be the way you're approaching things. This could be like maybe you're trying online dating. Um, maybe you're letting, you know, a friend set you up. I just feel like however you're going about this is kind of a different way than normal. Okay. So clarifying the page of wands, we have the devil. We have the five of materials. Okay, I flipped two, but you know what? We're going to take them. Queen of voices and then temperance. Okay. With this page of wands, like I said, I do feel like this is kind of breaking free from fear, from what's been holding you back. Um, again, this could be some healing for some of you. This could be getting past a tough relationship. Again, you know, somebody here has kind of been through some stuff. They've got some walls built up. They're not quite ready for a full blown committed partnership yet, but they're open to the idea or they're opening up to the idea. I should say, um, with the queen of voices, you know, this is still them having some boundaries, of course, but it's also them communicating honestly about what they're going through and what they expect or what they need from you. Or, you know, again, vice versa. This could be you, you know, talking to your new partner. Um, I do feel like there's a sense of balance, though, between the two of you. So even though, like I said, the past has been kind of rough um, in, like, relationships, I feel like this new person, again, could possibly be like a soulmate with strong soul connection between the two of you. Um, but this person is definitely bringing in some balance and I feel like you both are being very patient with each other really taking your time with this relationship I keep getting you know like really respecting each other's boundaries and um, needs all right so Queen of Cups oh we have the lovers we have the five of inspiration and seven of inspiration yeah See, I keep thinking that you are breaking through. You're breaking free um, from struggle, from, you know, not really being able to express your feelings or, again, just kind of being holed up, you know, kind of um, having that wall up and not wanting to extend that part of yourself or let anybody close to you to let them see. You know, it's like, I don't want to show you my vulnerable side. I don't want to let you in uh, because I'm scared of getting hurt again. Completely understand, you know, it sucks to be hurt. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I do feel like you are breaking free from old habits, from old ways. This is something new. Um, and with the lover's card, a very strong connection here, a soul connection between the two of you. Like I said, for a lot of you, this person is a soulmate that's going to be coming in. And I do feel like, you know, again, there's that level of commitment. And I feel just that level of respect and patience, you know, kind of working with each other, respecting boundaries, respecting needs and wants and time. Okay. All right. So let me see. Okay. So as I've been telling everybody, um, or well, all the other signs, I did make a couple decks of my own. Um, unfortunately, they didn't make it in time for these readings. So one of them is a timing deck. 
um, again, won't be here till the end of the month. And of course, I've never been able to find one until one day I was on Etsy shopping and I found this little guy. And this is a timing deck, so we are going to try it out. This one is not mine. Mine is still in the works. Like I said, it won't be here until um, later this month. And then I do have another deck of mine that I am going to be using in this reading. And they're just kind of like flashcards, kind of word cards right now, because again, they're not fully done. So, all right. So here we have Cancer. We have Better Late Than Never. We have April. We have July, and we have Makeup for Lost Time. Okay. So, again, I kind of do feel like with that sense of, you know, there's no urgency here or there's not rushing things, there could be that, you know, let's make up for lost time, kind of that strong connection, that passion, that, um, like, I want to be with you, like, almost every second of the day type of connection as we get things going. Um, <laughs> because I keep getting with, especially that better late than never type of scenario here. It's like, we're going to make up for all that time that we just kind of, you know, went back and forth because I do feel for some of you, this is kind of going back and forth, kind of going hot and cold, maybe a little bit, just because there is an uncertainty of, am I ready for a relationship? You know, am I ready for this? Do I want this? Maybe I need to focus over here more first. So, you know, again, there's, it's going to be different general reading. So take it how it resonates. Um, but April through July could be some pretty big months for you as far as either meeting this person, um, or really that's when the relationship gets going. So again, it's going to be different for everybody, but I do feel, you know, that chemistry there. All right, let's get some other little cards. And this is also from a little Etsy shop I found cute little cards just to kind of see any other messages for us okay so we have get more information and I feel like that's what kind of just you know takes your time um, or why you take time take your time is because you do want to get to know this person you do want more information it's like you're not again I'm not feeling that sense of urgency or like you know I need to do this right now I need to go to this full-blown you know committed relationship partnership like move in the next day like you know get married no I'm just feeling like okay I'm just kind of playing this by ear like I want to get to know you um you know let's just take our time because I really kind of feel like both parties are not fully ready just yet but I do feel like the connection is there so I hope that makes sense all right so now we're going to use my cards. And like I said, just bear with me because these are just word cards right now. All right, Cancer. Okay. So we have age difference. We have big eyes. Perfectionist. Piercings. One more, please. One more. Okay. Oh, okay. So we actually have two, and it's kind of funny because um, they're opposites. So we have tall and we have short. So this could be talking about maybe your person is tall and you're short, or maybe they're short and you're tall. Um, take it how it resonates for some of you. A tall person could be coming towards you. For others of you, maybe a shorter person could be coming towards you. Again, general reading. So, um, this person could have piercings. You know, this doesn't just have to be like, you know, uh, ears. Although, you know, of course it can just be ears. It can be nose. It can be eyebrow. It can be like wherever. Okay. But this person does have some kind of piercings. This person could be a little bit of a perfectionist, like things a certain way. Um, you don't want things to appear a certain way or, you know, um, again, could possibly have some big eyes. There could be an age difference, which I was getting that from the beginning of the reading as well. So, all right, well, Cancer, that is what I have for you, so hopefully this helps. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and it was a fun little look into the person that's going to be coming towards you. All right, well, thank you so very much for watching. Stay safe, stay warm, and as always, take care.